Session 6 begins um, addressing the lines of transmission from the bottom of the feet up to the top of the head. So working in a detailed fashion uh, with each one of the phalanx or the toes up to the tarsal, metatarsal bones, the ankle, the talus and calcaneus, working to make sure that those two segments are in agreement up to uh, the knee. Uh, on the way we'll make sure that the um, interosseous membrane between the tibia and fibula is resilient and responsive. Um, working up the back, hamstrings obviously are, are going to be uh, predicators to a posterior orientation of the uh, posterior anatomic bone, so we'll work to decrease that, but we work both sides. I like to uh, obviously do more detailed sacrum work, working in the direction of correction, so I'm working out and in on one side and down and out on the other, so uh, working to normalize the position of the sacrum, the, the, the nutation um, of the sacrum. Uh, up the back, side bend and rotation with each segment. Not really working around the thorax, although I do like to take it around to the lateral line uh, to go ahead to keep uh, implementing that change, that new information into the structure all the way up. Another great opportunity to work with uh, the space or the lack of space between the ribs working with the scapulas, obviously, serratus and rhomboids, working all the way up, very detailed, very specific work, up to the top of the head. Again, ending this session, session number six, with some seated back work, uh, pelvic lift or pull, and some movement integration work. With this, we could possibly do um, any a number of things that would help integrate the structures on the back of the body.